so much for choosing this channel. My name is Shavi Hamulengia. As I said, I've written the book, uh, You Have a Bright Future, Do Not Give Up. The other book is Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping. And the uh, third book, Secret for the Singles. And the fourth one, Secret of Success for Teen and Youth. These books will help you. Get in touch with me. I know this book will build you and bless your life. Today we'll be talking about Don't Miss Your Blessing. God is a God of great plan. He loves you. He knows you. And he has a plan for you. He created you. And one thing that you need to remember, you are special. You are very, very important to God. And because you are very important to God, you need to remain close to him so that you don't miss his word, so that you don't miss the best, so that you don't miss what God has for you. Don't miss your blessing. Today we'll be reading from the we'll be reading from the book of uh, Second King, chapter five. Second King, chapter five. And uh, what we want to talk about? Don't miss your blessing. Second King, chapter five, verse one. Now Naaman was a commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. Verse 2, Now band from Aram had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel and served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, If only my master could see the prophet who is in Samaria, he could cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went to his master and told him what the girl from Israel had said. Today we want to talk about don't miss your miracle. God can use anything and anyone to bless you. What you need to do, be ready for his miracle. You need to live in obedience. You need to obey, walk in his way if you want to see his power. If you want to experience his presence, walk in God's way. And I'll tell you that God is at work. And because he's at work, you need to believe him and expect from him and know that God loves me. The story we have read is the story of Naaman. Naaman was a commander-in-chief. And there was a maid at Naaman's house. The maid of miracle called her, the maid who had a miracle. A maid who had a vision. A maid who came with a great message. And let me tell you, don't look down on people. You can miss your miracle when you look down on people. Now you see, the maid went to the... Uh, wife of Manaman to her mistress and say, I wish the boss could go to Israel, to Samaria, where she will get where he will get healed. And the one thing I want to tell you that uh, indeed how you can miss your miracle, you can miss your miracle when you look down. And I told you that God can use anything and anyone to bless you. To build you. That's the reason why you need to live expecting from God. Wait upon him. Believe that God loves me. And because he loves me, I need to listen to him. Because he loves me, I need to allow him to lead me. Because he loves me, I need to surrender my life to him. And the best thing that you can do, give your life to Christ. Now today we'll be talking the topic, don't miss your miracle. And uh, we'll, be talk, uh, we'll be talking about how do we miss our miracle? What are some of the things that we do that can make us miss our miracle? You see, the maid spoke to the woman of the house. And the woman of the house went with the message to the husband. First, let's see. The maid was able to talk to the lady of the house. That means... 
we need to learn to treat people well. We need to treat people well, we need to trust people, and we need to talk to people nicely and thank them, recognize them. Don't, let me tell you, God can use anything and anyone to bless you. In other words, you may not know who has your miracle. Because you don't know who has your miracle, your ask is to obey, walk, listen to what God is saying. You see, the woman did not want to despise what the maid is saying. You have been, maybe, you may be missing your miracle because you despise, you look at people, no, who is this person? You may not know what that person wants to tell you. Say, the lady, the maid said, was able to express herself. And how do you treat the people in your life? Let's go to your house. How do you treat people in your house? That person, the maid, the house manager, are you? Your wife, your husband, how do you treat? There must be a communication. You see, the maid was able to express maybe the condition, the, the, the condition she was in. She was able to express herself. Do you allow people to, to speak to you? Do you accept advice? Sometimes we reject advice. And that's one of the reasons why you can miss your miracle. So let's see, how do people miss their miracles? I'll talk about uh, five points. One, when you look down on people, you'll miss your miracle. Let me tell you, the people in your life, you need to pray for them. You need to love them. You need to live to them. You need to lead them. You need to be there for them. Are you building or breaking? There are two ways. You can either build or break. Let me ask you, are you building your wife? Are you building your husband? Are you building the people you are working with or you are breaking them? Are you giving them hope? Can they tell you, okay, yes, I'm blessed. This person has been a blessing to me. So we are talking on how you can miss a miracle. Looking down on people. The second thing, let's go great advice. When you reject the advice, you miss your miracle. And the third thing, living in the past. Bringing, say, no, I know these things cannot work. When you bring your past into your present, maybe you have been living in the past. Something happened in the past. Now you are still living in the past. You still remember it. You need to get rid of the past. You need to be able to focus on the bright future. You need to focus on the word of God. What is God telling me? What is God saying? You need to focus. When you get to focus, you'll be able to fulfill your dream. When you focus, you'll be able to walk well. When you focus, you'll be able to be fruitful. When you focus, you'll be able to become fearless. Focus. And know what is God saying. Don't miss your miracle. And the third thing, uh, the fourth thing that uh, how people miss your miracle is losing hope. Losing hope. Naman had, no, there is a way out for this problem. And Naman was able to act. You don't lose hope. It does not matter what you have gone through. Keep trying. Keep going. Focus. Never lose hope. When you lose hope, you lose your miracle. When you lose hope, you are likely not to reach your destination. Don't lose hope. It does not matter what, how, many, how many things you have gone through. It does not matter how the situation is. Don't lose hope. You can miss your miracle when you lose hope. The, the fifth point, lack of focus. When you're not focused, you'll be able to miss your miracle. So don't miss your miracle. Well, how people miss your miracle first? Looking down on people, let go great advice, and living in the past, and also losing hope and lack of focus. 
Now, what will help you to get the miracle? We are reading from the second king chapter 5 the story of naman and that we say that we need to value the people in our lives we need to love them they need us i keep saying everyone needs love love is the best gift that you can give and how do you love talk to people nicely listen to them give them your time show them that they are very important they are very useful don't say, no, you see, someone like you. Watch your words. Weigh your words. Watch what you're talking about. How do you talk to people? You need to encourage people. You need to motivate people. You need to give hope to people because they need hope. See, now, what do we need to do? What will help us to get our miracle? One we need to listen to God, obey God. Deuteronomy 28, that when we listen to God, blessing will follow us. We need to learn to listen and obey what God is saying. We need to listen. When we listen, we will learn. When we listen, we will discover. When we listen, we'll be able to live well. When we listen, we'll be able to live to other people. We need to listen to what God says and apply what God is telling us. It's key when we learn to listen. And uh, the second way where we, if we want to, what will help us to get our miracle is Second thing, living in obedience. You need to learn to obey God. Obey God. Do what God is asking you to do. Go where God is sending you. Don't resist. Don't say no when God is saying yes. Say, I will do it. Because he knows where you are coming from, where you are, and where you are going. That's the reason why you need to humble and say, Lord, I will obey, I will surrender, I will listen, I will follow you. Follow God. When you follow God, you are secured, you are safe, you will be successful. So living in obedience. The third thing, leaning on God. If we want to get, we don't want to miss our miracle, we need to learn to lean on God. Trust, trust. He is faithful. He is wonderful. He is willing to bless and help us. And, uh, and the fourth thing that we need to do, if we want to receive that miracle, we, you need to let go bitterness. Let me tell you that you can miss great things because of bitterness. Bitterness will make you think evil, speaking evil, and doing evil. When you are bitter, you are not at peace. When you are bitter, you will hurt many people. When you are bitter, you, you will be blocking your miracle. You will be breaking yourself and you will be doing bad things. You will be blocking your miracle and you are breaking yourself. So stop being bitter. Yes, you need to let go bitterness. And how? The fifth point, lifting people who are down. You need to learn to lift people who are down and this will help us to be able to get into our miracle you want to get to our miracle the sixth point learn love learning get time with the lord say god i want to listen to you listen to his word his word will guide you his word will strengthen you his word will give you power to be able to go on so listen to the word of God because when you listen to the word of God, you'll be strong. When you listen to the word of God, you will be strong. So you need to listen to the word of God. So today we're talking about don't miss your miracle. If you don't want to miss your miracle, listen to God. And it is my prayer that you learn to be obedient. And that remember God has a great plan for you you need to learn to listen to him. When you listen to him, you'll discover. Thank you so much. I want to pray with you. And I know that the God is going to do great things in your life. Because he's a great God. God who has a great plan. Because he is at work. 
Oh, thank you so much. So we are going to, let's pray. Father, thank you because you are God of great plan. You know us. You love us so much. I want to commit this wonderful person in your hand. I know, Lord, that you're going to provide for them, that you're going to see them through. Thank you, Lord, because you're at work and we can wait upon you because, God, you're going to do great things. Thank you for your word. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. My name is Shavi Hamulengia, the author of the book, You Have a, a Bright Future. Get this book. We'll build you a secret for teen and youth, this great book for the young people that will be able to help them. And a secret for the singles. This book is good. You, uh, are you in a relationship or you're planning marriage? This is a great book for you. It's a book that will transform your life. It's a book that will lift you. It's a book that will guide you on how. And now the, the fourth one is men are crying, women are weeping. This is a book that I will recommend for every couple. This is a book that is touching, teaching, and transforming marriages. I pray that you get this book, and this book will be able to help you. And when you get it, get in touch with me. I'll tell you how you'll be able to get the book. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shavi Hamulengia. You'll be able to get great messages. And, and I know the Lord is going to lift you. God is going to bless you because I'm saying God is at work. So you need to wait upon him. Don't miss your miracle. You need to listen to him. And one thing that uh, uh, will make you miss your miracle is pride. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Be close to God. God is at work.